congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Conference Player of the Year, Isaiah Long. We jump right into questions. How do you like that title? Um, it's a it's a great title to have. Being one of the best players in the in the conference is a great to have it and be one of the part of in history. So it's just a great to have it. And I I want to give the team credit for helping me to achieve that goal. Were you surprised? What tell us about when you first found out? Where were you and what? Were you surprised by that news? Um, yeah, I was surprised. Um, we we was in film the, uh, the other day. We was watching film and practice, um, going to practice, and Coach L showed us. Um, who got the first team, second team, and third team, and I was on the first team. Then he showed the next slide, I was on it, and I was the MVP, and that surprised me, and I was just appreciative at the time. And that. What did it mean to you, you know, the decision that you decided to come back? I know that that was a really big decision. Um, now reflecting on this whole season, the decision to come back, and you just talk about that, how much it means to you to reach this level after the decision you made last year? The um, decision for me to come back, I just wanted to come back, just be at this point again, just come to March and come to um, be in the tournament and have a great team this season. And I feel like I made the great decision of coming back. And it was a smart decision coming back, helping myself getting better as a player and getting more stuff, getting more achievements and just building my resume up and just being around players I love all the time and just being around them. It, it's always, I always feel comfortable in Miami and it's a, it's a great place to be here. What have, you added, what have you added to your toolbox, shall we say, in your game? What, what have you been able, stuff that the, that the scouts wanted you to do, what have you been able to improve this year, you think, by coming uh, back? Um, I've, I've improved my, um, for me, I feel like I've been improving my three-point percentage and stuff and being more of a playmaker and helping the team as much as possible, being the leader and just helping, just like I said, just helping the team and getting getting on wins and just being part of the part of the program and just being the best I can. How does the team, I guess, uh, attitude or, or mentality, I guess, how has it changed from last year? So last year you guys had, like, um, you know, a lot, a lot of guys had, uh, like tournament experience this year, obviously everyone who's back went to the you know lead eight and everything. Is it the same as last year? Has it changed at all? Um, we have um, we have me and Jordan and Wilka. We have tournament experience, but I feel like when Chad and Nigel come in, they're going to be playing just how they are playing in season. So I feel like with me and Jordan and Wilka experience, is just going to correlate to this this year, and it's going to help Nigel and Chad feel more comfortable coming into the tournament. Isaiah, do you feel like the perception of this program nationally has improved? You know, for a long time you guys didn't get much respect. You guys were not ranked at all last year, and then you end up in the Elite Eight. Do you feel like the team nationally now is is more respected than it was even a year ago? Um, yes, I feel like what we did last year, it definitely helped us for this year. Just coming in, we proved a lot of things last year. We had a lot of great players last year, and it helped just, like, just to help nationally recognize like who we are and how good we are and how we play, we can we can compete with any team in the in the conference and in the country. So, but coming into this year, we was just on a winning streak, and it felt like it was a lot easier for them to rank us because of what we did last season. Zay, what does it say about your team's balance that Jordan and Norchad were also all ACC players? Um, it's just um, it's just um, with with the balance is just like we all can go off at any type of night, any type of day. It's just like we need, if you like trying to have a championship team, you need those kind of players just coming in. We all can have a good day. We all can be the best player on the team at every month, every time. But with those, with those key players and key pieces, we're going to go far with that. Isaiah, how did those road wins this season against Clemson, North Carolina, and others really kind of prepare you to go into an environment where the opposing crowd may be the majority? Um, just with the away games, you know, we got a, we, we have, we won some good ones and we lost some, but with the one we won, it's like, um, with the crowd is like, it's all on us, I feel like, and when we win the away games, it just helped us build our confidence and it helped us feel like we're more at home and we can play anywhere. How did you celebrate after you found out that you won ACC Player of the Year? Um, I had a, I told my family and we all celebrated. I just had a good time with them and we all celebrated that and we went to go out to eat and we had a good time. Where'd you eat? Um, Friday. <laughs> okay. Uh, what did your mom say? I mean, your mom has always had that contract with you since you're a little kid where you had all these goals. 
Um, what were your, I don't know if you're still doing that, like did you have goals for this year that you signed up with your mom, the contract, and what did your mom say? Because I know she's been a really big part of this, even like when a shooting practice with you sometimes when you're in a slump over the years. Can you just talk about what it meant to her and did, did you sign one of those contracts this year? Um, no, I didn't sign one this year, but we just made like a verbally commitment to like what we need to do and what we need to improve and stuff and just how to help me be a better player throughout the season. And my mom just helped me throughout the season, just talking to me and helping me mentally. And I've been doing the work on the court and it's just been going up from there. Did she cry? I mean, when you first saw her after getting the award, like what was her reaction? What um, was that moment like? She was yelling. She was like yelling aggressively. Like, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's how you do it and all that. But it was like, it was a, it was like a good type of loud and aggressive loud. Cause was she, it here on campus or was this at the Fridays that you first saw? Um, it was on the phone. I told her on the phone and I could just hear her on the phone just yelling. And it was just, it was amazing. And who went to dinner, you and your mom and who else? My two brothers. Thank you guys, man. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.